Panasonic, Tesla's dance partner when it comes to making batteries for their cars, is pulling back a little bit on their investment into expanding their partnership. Uh, is this good news or bad news? There's a lot of people who kind of say, oh my God, the sky is falling, where to me, this is just as planned. There's absolutely no surprise, though there is some surprise about their um, uh, pr production of their energy products for home and business. Um, and there's a bit of a caveat with their Shanghai factory and how this fits in there. So let's talk about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. Okay, so the uh, Gigafactory in Nevada is um, uh, the largest battery production factory in the world. Basically, it's a partnership between Tesla and Panasonic from the very beginning. Tesla saw the future and they basically said, listen, this is all about batteries, which it is. Um, they've uh, you know, created a partnership with Panasonic. Now, but last year, Panasonic got burned. As a matter of fact, I believe they reported the loss of almost like 150 or 200 million uh, dollars from this operation because um, you know they were they invested a good number, good, good amount of money uh, into Model 3 ramp up. Um, which didn't really happen until uh, closer to the end of uh, last year. And so they ended up losing money. And now there are reports that Panasonic is pulling back from the planned expansion. And, you know, there's still plenty of room there. It, the, the Gigafactory is still not 100% complete there. There's plenty of room. Obviously, it's in the middle of the, nowhere. So you can be building tents all around it, all you want. So it, it, it's definitely, um, it's like a Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, right? You you, you, you will never stop building it. But uh, it, it's... Um, it's slowing down because the production on, of cars of Tesla is slowing down. And I don't even mean, mean the production, it's the growth, right? The, the factory in Freeman is, is basically bursting at the seams. They're now making as many cars as they pretty much can. There's maybe a little bit of room to improve. Uh, and until a Shanghai factory comes online, which you know maybe this summer, maybe closer to the end of the year, Tesla just won't be able to increase the production. Now, there's interesting news about that, and I'll talk in a second about the Shanghai factory and Panasonic's role in that. But for now, the only thing that I have to say that is uh, kind of almost bothering me is that um, the role of, of, of the you know battery production at the Gigafactory uh, with the uh, all of the delays for the energy products, especially you know battery uh, filled uh, battery products like Powerwall, um, and and that really makes no sense to me. So um, let me let's let's tackle the Shanghai factory first. Before that, of course, I want to remind you guys that this video and this challenge is sponsored by Accelerate Auto, the third party. Uh, 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 an extended warranty solution for your electric car that have been waiting for such a long time, up to 125,000 mile coverage, only $100 deductibles. And in the description of this video, you'll find a discount code for $100 for you guys and the link to apply. They also do business leases for all electric cars, including Model 3 as well. So check them out. All right, so let's talk about the Shanghai factory. And this is like the only rendering of it that we, we saw at the unveiling of the Model Y. Now, interesting enough, it doesn't look like Panasonic is going to be the partner uh, for uh, Tesla there. Um, it looks like they're going to be uh, using some of the Chinese-based uh, companies to, to produce batteries and might be more than one. I'm assuming cattle, you know, CATL, maybe one of them. Um, so, but again, this is just my guess. This is not, no, no way this is, this is news. Um, I have to say, I'm a little surprised that Panasonic uh, is not partnering, like it's not a company that they're partnering with, though I do understand that I'm assuming part of the, you know, the whole deal with China is that they're going to be, you know, that the Shanghai factory is going to be really Chinese based with the Chinese labor, with Chinese suppliers. And maybe that's one of the reasons that Panasonic, that's a Japanese based company, is sort of can't get in there. Uh, that's fine. Now, the uh, as far as the expansion uh, here in, in the United States is concerned, just like I said, until there will be another factory, I don't see why they would expand because there are plans to expand where I believe was about you know, 50%, something really crazy. Now, one thing I do want to mention that doesn't really fit anything. Okay, so one thing is about cars. And I understand that, you know, right now the supply for cars is fine. And if anything, the cars, the Model 3s that are going to be making um, from now on is going to have, will need less cells because there will be the standard battery option, which is a smaller battery that needs less, uh, you know, battery cells. Um, so I, we can only, we can only assume that what they're making right now is perfectly fine. Now, as you know, Powerwall products has been delayed by a long, long while. And meanwhile, Tesla's doing all these projects, uh, you know, for for the businesses and really big 
uh, battery farms, but somehow, like for example, me and many other people are still waiting for the Powerwall as the price for the referral program. I believe if you order one from Tesla, you, you might be waiting up to six months for that one. Now, I don't know if it's a battery production problem, because if it is, then, you know, that may be something that uh, Panasonic would have invested more into because there is demand, there's not enough supply. Um, so unfortunately, there's, you know, Tesla is not really telling us if, you know, what the connection there is. Um, but, I, but I would assume that if, if, if they're not making them, well, all it is is just a box with batteries, essentially. I mean, I'm, I'm dumbing it up, of course, but, you know, so if, uh, if, they're not making enough of them. I can only assume it's because they're not making enough batteries. And if, if they're not making enough batteries, might, might not invest into something there is a demand. So there's only one thing, that's the only one thing that I'm a little bit kind of surprised by, but not that much, I have to admit. Um, all right, so let's talk about positives and negatives. So the positive is, listen, th th there is a reality here. And if, uh, if Panasonic believes that they will be more profitable by not investing more money into something that they cannot get the money back from, then it's a positive thing. You want this partnership to go on, right? I mean, this Panasonic is still, they're very, very good at what they do. There's a reason why Tesla picked them and, and continually stuck with them as just the only supplier. So I think that's a positive thing that they're, they're managing their finances. They wanna make sure they stay in business and it makes sense for them. So this is absolutely positive. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, and again, I don't know if I would say that it's a positive, but the fact that they're also being realistic about the Shanghai factory and maybe they're they're just not able to get that contract from Tesla, that's also good, right? Panasonic is an essential partner for Tesla and, and, and the fact that they were, you know, losing money last year is a problem. So they need to start making money again if whatever it takes, if it means not investing more money, then it's a good thing. Now, the negatives are, are pretty obvious, right? Um, you know, if they had plans to invest, they, that means they were well, were hoping or planning on either making more cars or making them for for energy products and 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 there there were plans that 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 had some hopes that obviously did not materialize um, and then I would say, I would assume that by the way the stock is a little bit down on this news earlier today not that the stock is ever really a big indication especially in the short term within 24 hours you know because it's just knee jerking reaction all the time at the wall street um but nevertheless that's that did obviously help the stock um now um i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys hear if you're waiting for a power wall what is your wait period or if you already got one how long did you have to wait i'm i'm, I'm curious to know just just kind of uh, give some uh, perspective here um by the way don't forget to sign up with our vip list this is the, the weekly newsletter. We're finally producing one this Saturday. So you'll receive, if you're on a list, it's basically exclusive content that, you know, you won't see covered on this channel or on our website. There will be some offers and news. So definitely check it out. Subscribe. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime if you don't think that the, the content is exclusive enough. Um, so definitely try that out. And a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Sarvesh Chandra. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. The only place where you can watch me live. Thank you for contributing and supporting this independent uh, YouTube channel. And of course, if you want to join, patreon.com slash electric, that URL is also in the description of this video. Thank you so, guys, so much for supporting me, guys. I really do appreciate it. All right, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.